Well, all right. Let's get back to scavenging. All right, so right now it's basically like, you know, um, dusk. It's going to be time for, for night soon. And I figured that before we basically leave, you know, for like, you know, uh, the safety of Detroit, or maybe, maybe like, you know, stick around this area for a little bit. And now it's sort of like, you know, going off here, not really uh, saying much. But anyways, I'm going to wait for like night to fall. And when night falls, I'll basically like, you know, um, sleep here in Detroit and then we'll move on the next day, is what I'm thinking. And why not, I'll pick up another stone here just so I have an extra stone. So yes, yeah, so here's my character thus far, basically for doing stuff. Um, as I said, this is like, you know, a fairly decent start for like, you know, getting into the game. So I'm quite happy about, you know, that this far. There's another DMC guard. And for the most part, this stuff hasn't really, you know, basically this stuff will update, I think, every day, so... Eventually, this is going to have like different stuff in it, but yeah, it's yet to get the different stuff, so I'll have to wait for that a little bit. Ah, oh, what's this guy doing? Search. Who's here? Oh, it's a looter. All right, so here's like the first time seeing a looter. These are basically scavengers that are like you. They generally are, you know, very much like you know, willing to talk to you a lot of the time, so they can offer talk. Sorry, man, I gotta go. Usually they don't start shit with you, so, you know, you can just, like, you know, have a nice time with them. And I'm going to say offer a ceasefire to this guy, I guess. So, yeah, the stranger um, offers to talk with a player, but, you know, I offered a ceasefire, so that went instead. All right, so it's nighttime at this point, more or less. So here's what you can do when you're based in Detroit. You can actually go to, like, the parkade. And, like, you can squeeze in here for, like, you know, um, a quick little uh, sleep before basically heading out. So, rent a pickup for 24 hours. Now, note by way, well, you can, like, rent a pickup, you can rent a hatchback, or you can rent, like, you know, a full size van. And you can pay for a month, I think, if you want. But um, let's get some basic sleep here. When you find your stall, there's a maroon pickup truck in it. The bed's more than big enough to stretch out, maybe for two or three people if you really want. The cab on the other hand is pretty minimal. No sleeping in there, unless you're a fan of sore neck and back. It'll do for a place to safely stash your stuff, though, and the park at its roof at least stops the rain. It's basically what I want to sleep here. It's basically I have access to the St. Uh, St. James Park Abe, which will expire in 24 hours. If I go to my, my inventory here, you'll basically see that I can consume this to use. And like, you know, I can walk in here. I can access my things if I want. This is basically like, you know, safe for a little while. I can cancel my rental if I need to, or like you can leave. And if I want to, I can extend my pickup time for like, you know, more hours basically. So I can extend my pickup mail for 24 hours. I extend it for a week for 120. Or if I really, really, really want to extend it for four weeks, which basically gives you a whole lot of time. So you walk down to the parking ticket office, a booth with bulletproof glass situated in the parking's old entrance. The booth inside is a wash and pale light, highlighted, highlighting a girl reading her, um, with her knees propped up against the wall. We're just going to leave for now, and we're just going to sleep, I guess, for tonight, so let's do that. Now, because I'm basically warm by a campfire and like I'm in like a nice little place, I can actually get a little bit of sleep here. I don't have my sleeping bag anymore, but whatever, that's fine. Bad for being in a pickup truck, you know, basically here, you know, for me to make, basically make use of, so we'll sleep the night away. Alright, so that's basically it for this day, let's just move on. Now, note that I can actually scavenge like places inside Detroit, but um, if I actually try and scavenge these places just to sort of show it off, you'll notice that this has like no loot chance. Basically, like inside Detroit, you have like no loot chance of anything because people have already picked everything around you, so just leave them. Leave them alone and don't want her, um, you know, want her uh, in here for looting, basically. Uh, offer ceasefire. Now, look, by the way, there's this guy. These guys are well-armed. you got military rifles and straps. These guys have ammo in their weapons, so you can never you never really want to go after a DMC guard because they can kick your ass. Um, just see if you ever, if you ever thought about that. Let's 
Well, let's start exploring, I guess. Oof, I'm shivering. So, it's actually a little bit cold outside, which is not good, but whatever. Alright, well, now it's morning, so that's good, it's dawn. I'm still shivering, but let's just go out and explore. Ooh, that's a good rock. Yes, I'm keeping rocks. Now, basically up here in like, you know, the shoreline, you'll basically have like the water. Um, that's basically in the lake next to Detroit. I think it's one of the Great Lakes. All along right down here, it's like basically water. So, there's basically like, you know, gonna be like this coastline for a while. But there'll also be like friendly guys around, so that's good too. Alright, I think this is probably still too close to Detroit to basically get anything, but, um... Yeah, basically you can see that there's very little loot in like a lot of these places. I can actually try looting these places for a little bit of loot, but I probably won't find a whole lot. So if I like, try and scavenge these places... There's very little loot to basically pick up from these places, so there's not a whole lot, of, you know... A whole lot that I can really get from these places. So it's probably not worth my time. I probably won't wor worry about just like you know keep pushing on for now. All right, that's enough rocks for a little bit. Those would be good for if I need to you know get into a fight. I might as well have those access accessible just in case I need to have the extra weapons. Let's keep exploring. And this marsh has some berries in it. Don't really care about those, but whatever. You'll find lots of berries in like the open fields, by the way. Usually. Alright, we got ourselves a city up here. Maybe there's gonna be some stuff in there. There's still very little loot to be found, but whatever. I can go in here and look for stuff. Ooh, I found something. And we found ourselves a first aid kit. So these are really great for like finding items in because, you know, as you can see, they basically hold items for you. Um, I found another uh, olive, olive colored hoodie here, which is better than my current one, so... We'll put this on. And I can sell this for money if I want to, so I might just do that. And, um... We'll use one of these, like, plastic bags I basically have right here. We'll put this right here. Put this back in here. I found a backpack. That's cool. This can be used to basically carry around more items if we need to. And in one, one this like stash, you find a, a feral mummy bag, which is basically like a really good sleeping bag for you know carrying around. So put that right there, or no, I actually want to put these like over, um, like this perhaps. Right, I need to do a little bit of crafting. I've got too much small string right now, so craft this into you know some even threads. Get all these medium threads so I don't have to carry around a whole lot of small threads, basically. This will be for selling. And I got some more bullets, so bullets are good for like, you know, selling, so... We'll put those in there. The first aid kit, I'll put that right here. These jeans I can also sell for a little bit of money, so we'll take them as well. And apparently we've got a squirrel snare. These are basically really interesting because they can be used to basically capture, like, um, animals, I guess. And you can, like, disassemble them into, like, you know, small string and stuff if you want. We'll do that. So a little bit of crafting there, that's fine. I found some stuff. Let's go here, I'll take, um, a stab at finding some stuff. I found nothing. Now, I have to be very careful this time around because, I, as you can see, my safety is not an issue because I don't have a mechanic to basically make stuff easier for me. But I'll also get more loot as a result, so it sort of balances out a little bit. And we found some dirty rags this time around. Those can be used to, like, you know, get, you know, clean rags for money. Put these up here. 
I won't worry about those stuff. And yeah, as you can see, the DMC guys are nearby, so um, I'm still pretty much close to Detroit. So if anyone comes around, these guys are gonna be able to help me out if they're nearby. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about people trying to attack me this close to like you know Detroit. All right, we found our newspaper. So um, hand shop first. On the heels of the revelation of the controversial Eternal Protector Super Soldier program, insurrection threatens to destabilize the industrial giant. While the official China News Service is not disclosing information on the activity, short burst uploads from civilians caught in the struggle seem to indicate a full-scale coup with popular support. They're revolting in China. Who guessed? We'll put that in there, sure why not. Uh, found some more string. I'll start crafting this stuff in a bit, but whatever. So there's some recipes, I can get like, you know, hard spear, the hard spear recipe. There's the rifle scrap, basically if I have a Phyllis head screwdriver, some medium thread, a rifle, um, no scope, no strap, and two small mechanical parts, I can basically like, you know, put a, a strap on a rifle. That's always fun. Come on, separate please. There we go. And there's the gauze rifle with scope. So, the Gauss Rifle, no scope, blah, blah. There's actually Gauss Rifles in this game, as you can probably see, you can probably guess with that being there, but whatever. Okay, let's put this here. And we'll do, uh, I guess, a little bit more searching before heading back to Detroit. Basically, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to Detroit with all the stuff I basically have and, like, sell it and, like, you know, keep making a little, a little bit of money here and there while I'm close to Detroit. What I like to do in the early game when I have a chance basically to actually get a good game running is to actually like farm like this. This is scavenge and like, you know, go to Detroit, sell stuff, come back, scavenge some more. And I just got a whole lot of stuff here. We found a backpack, another backpack. Um, they're in poor condition though, but whatever. We found some jeans in poor condition again. There's a, there's a vodka ba bottle, some cargo pants. I found some stuff. Okay, there's drugs for sale again. We've already seen that, so I won't worry about that one. And let's see here. I guess I'll have to do some crafting to get rid of some of this uh, small string I've you know collected again. We'll put this stuff in here. Get a whole lot of uh, medium string. Of. Put that there for now. Put that there. Uh, so there's some dirty rags and put some of those in there, or one of them in there rather. What I'm likely actually going to do here, I'm actually going to drop these dirty rags. They're not you know worth as much um, to me as like you know getting like say the jeans here or the other stuff. Put this in the first aid kit, I guess. I want to take the cargo pants for sure. And you know what? It actually makes sense for me to take the backpack as well. So let's empty out this plastic bag. I'll put this plastic bag right there. I'm going to put this, I think, right here. We'll put the olive color hoodie right there. I'll put this right here. Um, I can stick these around like the sides. I'm getting overloaded because you know I'm carrying so much stuff again, but whatever, it happens. Over and over, it happens. Put that there. Put this right here. I take this vodka bottle if I want to. You know, I might ditch the um that like Coca-Cola bottle there thing. But it seems a little bit overdoing it, so let's just go in here. What I'm gonna do right now, we're just gonna take like, you know, this. Okay, can't dis disassemble the backpack, but I can disassemble um the crappy jeans that are in here. I'll do that because there is crap, I'm not gonna worry about them. Fill those up a little bit. Put those there. 
There's some loot to take back to Detroit, so let's do that. Put that there. Actually, is it really sunny right now? No, it's cloudy. If it wasn't cloudy right now, um... Well, actually, you know what I could actually do? I could start a fire with the, with the camp, um, with the campfire thing. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to take, like, some of the, like, you know, water I have. And I'll just, like, clean up some of the rags I basically have, make a little bit more room, I think. Or, is that really worth doing right now? No. You know what, let's just head back to the DMC. So, basically, there's, like, you know, a little bit of scavenging close to town. This is something I like to do just because it's like safe to basically do. Good way of getting loot, basically. There's a rock, apparently. And for some reason, my my uh, clicking isn't registering as much, which is kind of sucky, but whatever. I'm getting thirsty, but that's easily quenched with a little bit of water, so... Just slick that first a little bit. There we go. I'm not thirsty anymore. You know, something I like about games like this is that they have like little icons for like what you're doing, so... I'm carrying two backpacks, and you can actually see that on my character right now. I'm carrying two backpacks that worth of like stuff on me. I'm a little looter, you know? I'm looting stuff. And by the way, it's a new day, so there's actually new stuff here in like the, the you know, this place. If I want to I get better shoes, I might want to do that, so... Let's take off these shoes. Hi, cat. Yeah, my cat's below me. Let's put this shoe on right here. So basically now I've got a little bit of like better footwear to basically help myself out. Let's sell off some of the stuff like, you know, the khaki cargo pants. I'll sell off these jeans. I'll sell off the olive color hoodie. Um, in here. Let's empty this stuff out. I'll pick, take this stuff right here for now because basically I can use that water, but... Put that stuff in there. Sell these jeans. You know what? Let's actually sell the first aid kit too. So you don't need the first aid kits. So let's just get rid of it. These bullets are worth money for me, so I'll be able to sell them. And you'll notice, by the way, that um, these like tell you what type of rounds they are, while these ones don't. If you don't have the range skill, you can't actually tell what bullets like do for you. So, you know, they just say some bullets when you're basically looking at them. Same with pills, by the way. If you look at the pills over here, you can see that these pills actually tell you what to do. So these are like uh, Zalpidium prescription sleeping pills. And these like help you sleep if you want. You know, that's a nice looking crowbar. My, my crowbar is getting really damaged, so I may want to sell this crowbar just for, you know, exchange for this one. Let's do that. We'll uh, take off this crowbar. We'll buy a new one. I wonder if I can craft with like that. I guess I can't craft here because it's a junk market, but whatever. Um, I can fix that easily by just like, you know, emptying this bag out. Actually, that's the bag I want to keep. This bag I want to keep. The other ones I don't really care about as much. Let's put this right here. I'll put this right here. Put that right there. Put those there. This here. That there. Swap in my backpacks, because, you know, I'm going to get rid of the crappy one first. That makes sense. C get rid of the crappy one. There we go. Make some money. Now I can actually pick up the crowbar. There's also a broad spear in here if I wanted it, but, um... Well, that's actually pretty cheap. I might just pick up the broad spear so I have a broad spear. Maybe I'll do that. And we're gonna pick up a scrap of paper just for the hell of it so I can like craft like, you know, a shiv out of this like little thing right here, I guess. Hmm, there's cure meat in here. I like cure meat. Cure meat tastes good. So let's buy the cured meat. I'll use it up. It actually kills my first a little bit as you can see, but whatever, I can 
deal with that easily enough. There's actually a makeshift sack in here, of all things. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll make use of that. There's a lot of stuff to make use of in this, like, you know, junk market today. Put that there. Put that there. Let's uh, do a little bit of that stuff, reorganizing. It's making a little bit of money, you know, continuing on my way. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to use all the string for. I have a whole lot of string, but um, I, I can't exactly make trip voices with it because I don't have the mechanic skill. So just getting a whole lot of string isn't going to help me as much as I may think it will. I guess the medium string is worth a little bit for selling. But whatever. Alright, well, I think I've done everything I'm going to here, so... Let's sleep, a, sleep the day away, I guess. We'll go here, I'll do a little bit of crafting. I'll basically craft a shiv so I can make a little bit of money from this like thing right here. We'll craft a little bit of medium thread. And I can put this right there, and I can put this right here for selling. Let's go down and get some wire so I can basically do a little bit of uh, stuff. And you can notice that there's a little camp icon there. That basically means that I can use that as like, you know, a camping spot. But it also means I have, I've also camped there as well. Yeah, that's what these little camping things are all about. They're all about being, you know, camping places and such. Alright, I've got some water here I can make use of. So let's just put it into like, you know, these bottles perhaps. Or... Actually, I don't need to do that, do I? I can just go in here and craft. So... Let's take, like, um, the river. We'll get some wire I basically need there. We'll do some, you know, like, you know, sterilizing of, like, stuff. Actually, I have to do that, because, um, I don't have a fire stores here. Alright, this might be stupid, but let's just go here. I'm going to grab some wood. I'll go to this forest here, I'll use it up a little bit. Make a little bit of wood to basically, you know, get some stuff for it. Here's some twigs. Put the twigs right there. And stuff I forgot to do, I have this crowbar. I have some string. I can make a crowbar of a strap and put this on my shoulder. So I can carry around these if I want to. Alright, let's go over to here. Now, if I want to, I can go in here, I can do a little bit of like crafting, so... I can take like this like branch here, I can take the twigs... I can take the lighter... And I can make a medium campfire lit! Flump! Now, if I want to, I can do a little bit of boiling right here on the spot, so... Clear this... And, uh, clear this stuff... We'll put our medium campfire right there... Water... Water... Water. Water. I probably don't need that much water in there, but whatever. I'm just going to do as much of this lake, you know, as I can. I'm going to boil a bunch of rags. So confirm, confirm, confirm. I got all I could right there. So, a bunch of rags I can basically sell for money. It's cheap money, but, you know, it's still money. I'll put that all right there. I actually don't need to carry this stuff around, so I can take it off. And let's do a little bit more scavenging here. Or not scavenging, crafting. Because I'm going to keep crafting all these, like, clean rags into, like, you know, good ones. Um... I've only got 10 of those left, apparently. Okay, cool. Put all that right there. Put this right here. Fire source. There we go. That's all done. 
we'll boil up some water for like you know consumption So get all that done, I can drink the stuff. Drink it all up. Get a little bit more water for crafting with, or boiling rider. Okay, that's sterilized, don't need to get rid of that stuff. Confirm, confirm. I still have enough water to basically do a little bit more. Okay, we'll take this stuff, sterilize, put it right there. Sterilize, put that one right there. Alright, there we go. Everything's sterilized and ready to be sold. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go and like sell all the stuff I basically have collected up, um, you know, down here. I'll sell a couple of those bar balls too. And I need to pick this up, so we'll put that right there. It's getting darker and darker, but whatever. I can go here now, I can sell a bunch of my stuff. So here's like the clean rags that I've got here, we can drop them in here. I can start dropping all this stuff in here. You know, there's like an option of a basic quick sell, but I forget what it is, so I'm not doing it. But whatever. Sell all this stuff. You know what, we're going to sell medium strength for, medium likes of strength for now too, because I don't know what I'm doing with them. Sell this stuff. There we go, lots and lots of money. I'll buy this Broad Spears for combat if I need it. And, um... I guess we'll also sell this backpack now because I don't really need it anymore. I'll take this vodka bottle. Alright, well, there we go. I guess now I can just go and, um... You know, I'm tempted to take this makeshift sack. This is a really nice looking, nice looking sack right here. Maybe I'll buy it just so I can loot stuff of it. It's cheap enough for it. These also have good durability too, so it'll last a long time. Put down my hand, I guess. Put that right there. We'll go down this direction a little bit more. And I'll do a little bit more. As you can see, the fire also gets smaller and smaller as so you leave it alone. But I'm gonna do a little bit more, like, you know, uh, crafting this stuff. For a little bit more water. So do all this stuff again. And there we go. I made myself a little bit of money from all that. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, but enough is enough. Whoops. Empty that water out. Put that water in. We'll use that up a little bit. Alright, well. Let's move here. I'll basically talk to like this person again. So, I can go in here to my inventory, I can use the parkade. And let's extend this for another 20, you know, hours or so. Despite your headphones, she seems to hear you just fine. She takes the fee and resets your timer to 24 hours on a beat up eye slab. Then she gets back to reading as if nothing happened. So that's done. I'll go back over here. Basically sell off this bar ball, you know, wired whiskey. Because I don't need that stuff.
And now it's night time, so let's just, you know, hang out here and go to sleep again. All right, well, it's still nighttime, but um, we can start moving over here again. As you can see, this stuff, re ooh, look at what this reset to have here. So that's cool. Um, I'm actually going to go in here. We'll put um, that here for now, I guess. Now let's do it like this. We're going to basically drop everything that's, you know, in this into a makeshift sack for now. That Yukon backpack is it's a really nice item to find if you ever find it. And in a junk market, that's just awesome to find it. Um, it basically is the best like backpack in the game, I think it is, the Yukon, so... You find it, you can like get, you know, get by very easily with it. So put this right here. Now I've got an awesome backpack for like, you know, carrying stuff. And if I want to, I can do like some more looting when I get the chance, so why not? We'll uh, get some of the stuff into my inventory. There's some shards in here I can make into shivs. Yes, I'm actually buying shards just to make into shivs. But they're, you know, the thing that's funny is that, you know, can make like easy items like this. Shivs that are basically worth $5 from like nothing. This is a shard and scrap flow and you get it. Funny as hell. There's some full metal jacket rifle rounds. There's some other full metal, metal jacket rifle rounds. A sling. There's some more uh, small meat, so let's get that into my inventory. Put this stuff in here. And I think to finish off this, like you know, this turn, I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the crafting over here. And offer ceasefire. Uh, reveal. Worse for me, he fled. He's fine with fleeing. I'm fine with letting him flee. Use this up a little bit. And we'll eat this small meat, I guess, right now. Yum, yum, yum. But yeah, I'm really f happy I found this Yukon, so that's cool. That's one of the nice things about hanging around um, the DMC. You basically get, like, you know, shards of glass which you, you can, like, use for crafting. Great way of getting a broad spear if you need it, or in this case, like, I got myself a couple shivs that I can basically sell for $10. And if I want to, you know, here's something I, I should actually show off. I didn't actually do this, but if you take, like, these things in trapping, and uh, do I need twigs too? Here's something that's nice about like the trapping skill. I really shown off what the trapping skill is like all about, but you can use it to basically use like you know a little bit of like you know um, like woods, woods woodsman type of skills. So you can actually use it to like do a little bit of like you know uh, campfire stuff with like you know no like light or anything. So let's just do that. And I can go here. We can make like a, a you know better campfire. And then I can just go in here and we'll do a little bit of um, stuff. So we'll go in here, I'll basically go... Take all the water. Confirm, 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 confirm. I should, probably should have actually uh, did the rags first before doing that, because it's very hard to distinguish sterilized water from regular water, but, um... Whatever, there's all this water basically sterilized. That's all done. Now I'm going to sterilize the rest of these, like, things right here, and then we'll, uh... Be Laura's good to go. This bar here. This bar right there. And 
There's my clean rags and shivs. All right, well, that's done. And you know what? Let's actually, like, you know, maybe carry around just a little bit of, like, twigs and branches just to make, like, fires when I need to. That's one of the nice things, like, I can do. I can just make, make those whenever I need them. And search. And we'll say hi. And I'll basically sell off all the stuff I basically have in here. So, sell that. Sell this. So clean rags, so let's just empty it actually. There we go. Alright, well, I think this is actually gonna be good for this episode. I did a little bit of like, you know, close to Detroit looting, which is like, you know, stuff that I suggest like you like, you know, do when you're basically starting out. As you can see, I've almost got up to like, you know, seven hundred and fifty dollars, so it helped out a little, little bit of like the money. And I managed to like find like this Yukon backpack and like this broad spear, which will be useful. So so good stuff to basically get going with. Found this crowbar too. Now I'd find a Ravager pocket knife here, that'd be swell. But whatever. And I probably should just talk about this just before I, you know, forget about it, but um I haven't really been talking about this, but down here there's like this like, you know, swampy type of area, the Great Black Swamp. Um you basically caught it from like, you know, it uh, one of the guys in the last episode, but basically this swamp area is like, you know, a part of like, you know, um, an ecological disaster and you don't want to basically enter it, which is why I'm basically avoiding that, that area, so to speak. But, um, yeah, basically it's down here, the Great, Great Black Swamp. If you go in there, you basically have like, you know, sickness that basically happens to you and you, and you eventually will probably die from like, you know, uh, chemical reactions of some sort. And let's go this way, go up here, go over here. And someone's phoning me, so you know what? Let's just like um, just kill this uh, recording right here, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time.